Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, this is my Xanthe suit test run. This is the undersuit I'm going to be uh, wearing for, uh, you know, my, my Halo armor. Um, it cost me about 60 bucks. It's a company over in China. Uh, I do have the websites that I got my stuff for my build listed on my new forum on uh, 405th.com. It's either listed under Camaro Guy. Uh, 9129 or Camaro Guy 2919. Um, anyway, uh, this is like a second skin. I mean, you feel the air move right through it. It cleans right to your body. Definitely going to wear want to wear underwear or boxer briefs. Um, it's your choice if you want to wear socks inside and outside. I ordered my suit with the, uh, with the socks connected to it. Um, now, when you start making changes to your suit, it's going to cost you extra money, you know, cut, you know, to have a tasheable hood, and, or if you want hands or no hands. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, this is a medium. It's for height ranges between, uh, like, 5 foot to 5 7, I think. Um, it's between, uh, the weight, it's, the, the weight is between 124 to 140, I think, for the medium suit. The, so there's height and weight ranges for each suit. So you know which suit would be best for you. Now I'm 5'6", I'm 130 pounds, so I'm in the medium suit range. Um, it, it is pretty tight. I'm a little, you know, I'm 5'6", I, I, I'm a little bit bigger on top than I'm on bottom. So it's going to take a little bit more stretching and, and getting used to on the suit for up on the, on top here because my neck on the back it doesn't quite come all the way around here because of that. But other than that, it fits really good. It's comfortable. Um, it's not restraining. You have a full range of movement wherever you go. So other than that, it's great. I think it's definitely worth the money. It's going to make it a lot more comfortable for you to wear your armor. It's going to be a, a, a lot cleaner look as well. Now I got the regular satin black. My nylon webbing that I got, that's going to, uh, my nylon webbing and the release buckles that I got to make the harness for the belt and to keep, you know, the armor pieces all together on the on the lower half uh, is satin black as well, so they don't, they don't show like they would if, with, with a different color. So, um, now I did buy some pleather because I'm going to try making an under part of the suit you know, doing some, some cutouts and some sewing, you know, for that. But that's that's for later. I have to do some more research on that just because it's been a while since I've done anything like that. But anyway, um, yeah, this is definitely the way to go. I mean, it cleans right to your skin. I wouldn't really suggest, like, gluing anything to this. I'm not sure how it's going to take the weight. I mean, if you grab your arm or another part of your body... You know, the suit goes with it. It doesn't just slide. So, um, but, yeah, other than that, this is, this is good. Like I said, uh, everywhere where I've gotten, like, different things for the build, I have listed on the new forum, 405th.com. So check that out, um, and, uh, get yourself one of these. You could probably find them cheaper than what I, I got, but I wanted to make sure that mine was going to fit right, because, I'm not exactly tall, I'm not short, I'm kind of like in that, you know, that, 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 that little halfway range, and uh, I, I, I ordered it from the company because they had the height and weight specifications for the suits, for the suit sizes, so that was very important because I've seen a few other sites where they didn't, didn't have it or I wasn't sure where to find it on the site, this site was easy, I have it listed on uh, 405th.com, so check that out, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Remember, wear underwear. Yeah, you would. Just in case you have to take something off to adjust it or whatever, because it will show. It will show everything. Absolutely. All right. Check you guys later.